In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn off do not disturb mode while driving. And you know that it is turned on because you have a car in the upper left corner next to the time. So you always know when it is turned on. By the way, it's not really called do not disturb mode. It's really a focus mode called driving focus. So the naming is different, but it's pretty much the same thing. And there are multiple ways how you can turn it off. The first way is to go to the control center, so swipe down and here you have like a bigger toggle which says driving on and if you tap right on the car, it's gonna turn it off. However, if you have it enabled like this and you tap it anywhere else besides this, it's gonna get to this menu. So it's gonna show you all of the focus modes that you have enabled. Here you can also just turn it off by one click. But you have some other options, so you have the three dots and it gets you to the settings. I'm going to get to this in just a second. Anyway, I'm going to turn it back on and the second way to turn it off is to do it right from the lock screen. So if you are here, the same toggle is here at the bottom as well. So you can just tap it like this and you're going to get the same section, disable it like this. Now. The thing is that it probably happens to you automatically and you would want to avoid it because you every you can, it can happen that every time you get inside the car, it just turns on by itself and this may be annoying. So go to the settings. If you don't go with, through the toggle, you can find it right here in the main settings tab. Focus is right there, so you should be able to find it easily. Tap on it and here are all of the focus modes that are available to you that you set up. Anyways, the driving is right here for me, so if I tap on it, there are some things like the people that uh, get through it, like people that can still call me and text me when I'm driving, so you can choose and add contacts, add auto replies, choose uh, home screens, lock screens, whatever, but this option is probably the most important one. This turn on automatically makes you have driving focus turn on automatically or when connected to Bluetooth. So tap on it and it gives you multiple options. If you have it on automatically, it means that every time the iPhone thinks that you are driving, that you're moving quickly, it's going to turn it on. But this can be set incorrectly because a lot of times you may be in the passenger seat even and your speed suggests that you're driving, but you're only in a car, so you're not driving. Okay, so that's an option. And the second one is when connected to car Bluetooth. This may be a bit more useful because Usually your phone only connects to your car and it doesn't connect to other people's car. So this would be more reliable in case you still want to use it, but not just turn it on automatically, but only when connected to car Bluetooth, that would be a good option. But the manual option pretty much means that it will never happen without you specifically clicking on the toggle and turning it on. And this is also like turning it off completely. Unless you enable it, it doesn't get turned on by itself. Activate with CarPlay is very similar to when connected to car Bluetooth, but it only works with CarPlay compatible cars. So in case for some reason you don't have that, then uh, you don't use CarPlay and it's not going to work. And there are cars which have Bluetooth, but don't have CarPlay. So it depends on which vehicle or which uh, car you have. So it depends on you, but uh, activate with CarPlay and when connected to Bluetooth are very similar. However, if you want to get rid of this thing altogether, there is also the delete focus. However, I would advise you to keep it. There is nothing wrong with having it here lay in the settings when you're not using it. Well, if you don't want to get annoyed by it, just make sure that it is turned on to manual and it will never be turned on by itself. You don't have to worry about accidental um, do not disturb modes being enabled or anything like that. So this is how you can turn it off. This is how you can keep it. There's more to it. So I will probably make another video about the focus modes in general. So make sure to subscribe. And if you want to know which the best navigation on the Apple watch is, because a lot of people don't use it well, then make sure to check out this video right here and you're going to find out everything what you need to know about it.